so today we're going to be doing the flame test lab here in class. You can find the lab guide on Canvas under flame test lab with your period. Uh, make sure to download that to Notability. That's where you're going to record your data. So what I will do is I will show you what the flame color is. You will record it and then your responsibility will be to answer the analysis questions. So I will show you what you'll be filling out exactly. What you need to complete is our top table here. That's what you will do while you're watching the video. So all that information can be found in our lab video. You'll just record the color um, with the solution that I tell you. Then you, for homework, will have to complete the lab analysis questions on the bottom. If you have any questions, please email me. But that is all. Okay, so what I'll be doing now is first things first, I need to take change in the goggles because we'll be working with different chemicals and fire today. Hence this, and the sneeze. Cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm following these set of directions here. So I put my goggles on and then I will light my Bunsen burner. When I light my Bunsen burner, I'm using a lighter and this is important for you to know when you come back. You turn your lighter on, you come from the bottom. And you turn it on, you come from the bottom and then you get a light. It might be hard to tell, but wait, you can kind of see right there. So what I'll be doing is I'm gonna be doing six samples for you. I will show you what the label looks like and you will record the color. I'm not doing it in a particular order. Um, so just pay attention to that. So I put a wooden stick in a beaker of water and we are gonna start with our CuCl2. So our copper chloride. I open my cap, I take my damp popsicle stick, I dip it in, I do not scoop. I'm gonna dip it in a couple times, there we go. I get my sample and now here's the flame. Record the color of flame that you are observing. And I will dispose. That was our copper chloride, so our CuCl2. Now we're going to do sodium chloride, so NaCl. Good morning. It is Thursday. I'm going to speed through the announcement. There will be a brief meeting in room 117 during community period tomorrow. And my NaCl. working with or studying the animals in the zoology research center. Join the black student alliance for a meeting. Record the flame color for NACO. That will be tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. in the Chris Auditorium. See Ms. Olson or Mr. Burrell for more information. Seniors don't Next we have BACL2. Excuse me, this evening, the game time is still in the with the blackout team. The great friend Dan team performs at halftime. See Mr. Reesmo with any questions. Unsure of how you'll be celebrating the B day. Today, the Latin and Greek club has you covered. It's the birthday of the Roman poet Virgil. And we'll be celebrating after school from 3 to 345. Record the color for BACL2 on your table. Learn about Virgil and the cupcakes. See you there. Tomorrow, Next, we are moving to, I believe it's CRCNCL2. Juggle will be at 750 instead of 715. Your lunch menu for today, the main entree is balls, no butter, chicken. The vegetarian entree is moderate potatoes and crispy baked tofu. The, steamed, the side is steamed rice, and of course, deli sandwiches will also be available. So, there any birthdays Record the color yesterday on for the CN or CR C2. This is from the student body with Jack Drew, Ethan Jones, and AJ Shinko. Celebrating today, Stanley Bruce, Sebastian Cassiopo. And the last one is potassium chloride, so it's KCL. Happy birthday, guys. And from the faculty and staff celebrating yesterday, Mr. Burks in the development office and celebrating today, oh, pardon me, wrong month, celebrating yesterday, Mr. Flint from the building and grounds crew and celebrating today, Mr. Bob, the principal, and Mr. Herder. There the is office. our flight test. So no, now what you will do is day. you will record what you collected on the colors for each one and you will respond to the analysis questions. That is all I have for you today. And if you have any questions, please email me. This is due on the next time I would see you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.